Hi, so I'm Laurie Ann Lassick. Some of you know me as L.A. Lassick, and I want to talk about a subject that affects all of us, whether we like to um, admit it or not. Um, PI, meaning uh, personally identifiable identifiable uh, information at the intersection of advertising, right? So what is PI? It's uh, anything you can put on the web, your email address, your phone number, your um, home address, maybe your social security number, your banking information. We talked about that a little bit on the panel. Um, not necessarily something all of us want on the web, but we do have a choice. Privacy, I think, is dead, but I don't think that it's, I think it's been dead for a long time. We've been tracking people in an analog world way before the internet. Why is tracking important? Because that's how advertisers find us. So I said advertisers and personal information. These guys think that they know what's best for us. I can't say whether or not that's true, but Google, Yahoo, Microsoft, Facebook, others are making that information available um, to advertisers, and what if that's regulated? Some would actually say that we should also regulate cookies. I like cookies. They're a little fattening. I don't want to remove my cookies. I like my cookies, but there's work involved um, in that, and t I'm kind of lazy. I don't know about you guys, but I'm too busy to bother clearing my cache. And I don't want to work for it. So what are my alternatives, right? If I need to target you, because let's face it, that's part of the ecosystem, and we've all made a trade-off to get free content. So what are the options that I have other than cookies? Um, actually using the internet IP address, you can find out where I live and then understand quite a bit about me and my human IP. So what, what do you know about me? if I live in San Francisco in a certain zip code. You can look at the behavior, my shopping behavior, 80% of purchases are made 10 miles from home, I think we've all heard that before, and we shop at work, we're online during lunch. So how are you gonna reach me with content that I'm going to relate to? I don't know, here we go. Content is mostly bad, so if I'm making this trade off and I'm gonna give you my time and attention for free, make it count. I think that that's fair, right? So now that you know this about me, what do I want, right? I think there's some things that we could say, you know, I want uh, uh, nice gadgets, cool shoes, whatever. So this is a, an example, actually, of perhaps what I might be interested in. <laughs> Maybe. I, I actually did make this slide, so I can't blame someone else. Um, so, and then when I know that, right, then it, there's a whole number of other things we can say. When you know where I live, you know my education level, you might understand about people around me based on that location derived from an IP address, and then you can create content that actually speaks to me. So my question for agencies and creatives is, let's bring back the creative. Can we do that? Because there's a lot of crappy content out there, and you've probably seen it. Now, I'm not suggesting that you might not be interested in the type of content that you're seeing, but the next slide has someone very famous, but I really don't care about Justin Bieber. So if I'm seeing advertising that looks like this, you've just totally lost me on my lunch break when I'm shopping and you might have had an opportunity that you missed to engage me, maybe. Um, no offense if you like any of those things. And then this is pretty crappy, right? I mean, at least, what is that telling me? You're not gonna sell me something. You kind of just lost me, that's an icky moment. I might tweet it out with an opinion and that's about it. And, and perhaps good PR is also bad PR and PR is PR. This guy? Right, give me my Prada shoes. I'm totally done with that. So what is good content? I guess it has to do with targeting me at the intersection of where I live, where I work, where I go out to dinner, what I share with my friends, maybe this appeals to me more. I might buy one of these products because you know that where I live is there's a Whole Foods near me and there's a whole bunch of location data that can be derived from that without knowing who I am, without revealing my personally identifiable information. So again, these look to me, these were appealing. I just was searching on, I actually learned a lot about the Clio Awards when I was looking for some artwork, and there were some pretty amazing campaigns. So at the end of the day, though, it's pretty base, right? I want to think it's my idea. My ego wants me to think that all of this is original and that all these things just occurred to me, that I'm going to be the trendsetter, and nobody actually put the idea in my head because I want to have my pie and my pie. That's it. Thank you.